Yep. All right. Enough of that. Close the doors back up. <laughs> uh, may have for the the fuel issue. We may have to default back to one of my ideas of we need to leave just a little bit of those fu the internal fuel tanks exposed, just just enough of them poking out the bottom su bottom surface of the wing. So oh, it? it looks kind of like it's already there. Tiny little bit of it. It is. Yeah, I need to just drop it down just, just a tiny little bit. And we'll run the fuel lines from the external fuel tank directly to those tanks. And that will that should solve that problem. Should. Sometimes I don't have a great track record on what should solve problems. Do you like the skybox? This is one that I that I made. That I think I share I shared with on the universe universe replacer. I think it's pretty. We're still missing the big uh, control surface. Uh, the real shuttle has a has one right in the middle, a big flap that's right underneath the engines. I don't have that. I don't know if, if I had, if I were to insist on ins having that one be part of the uh, be part of this vehicle, I'd have to really change a lot about the wing design. As it is, this thing barely has any wings, but then the, so does a real shuttle, you know. Okay, here we are hitting atmosphere. Let's lower that nose some. I'm going to continue with some of my previous. From previous experience, I'm going to continue uh, pointing the nose in the direction of travel until we get down to, say, around 40 kilometers of altitude, and then I'm going to pitch back. Nilorf, Bob, I really hope this works out. I'm rooting for you guys. You've already survived one fairly catastrophic wreck. Here's coming down to 40 kilometers. Let's slow it down to real time. And let's pull back, point our nose up. And pop those brakes to help out. Here, let's put that one right there. So those, yeah, those air brakes, that'll help keep the nose elevated. So, you know, we won't be plowing just directly nose first into the hottest part of everything and also also helps slow us down I mean, let's see it's still it's not making much of a difference but it does help keep that keep that nose up okay i wonder if, if i set this will it stay set oh it, it will good i don't have to hold that i was trying to hold down the brake button and hold down the you know pitching back and yes you know, i was running out of fingers <laughs> Okay, guys, here we go. How hot is this getting? Um, temperature? Where's the temperature on this? Oh, got too many things. 125 Celsius is not so bad, actually. How's these wings doing? 173 Celsius. Good. Yeah, this will work. I, would, I wish we could have point the pitch up further. But this is working. Nice, pleasant 1G. Oh, look at our electric charge. I didn't realize that. Um, that's interesting. Because of all this pitching back that I'm doing. I might have to keep an eye on that. Let's kill the lights. We need to look at installing a bigger battery in this thing. We're gonna we're gonna need a bigger battery. Man, I bet you we're already starting to cool off, huh? Temperature? Uh, well, no, not really. <laughs> I'm getting kind of concerned about our electric charge here, dudes. Let's, let's release this. Let's release this pitching back. Okay, well, we're still... I think we're still going to be okay. 146... No, that's... Uh, see, it's... Growing and dropping. Oh, charge is going up a little bit. We're regaining some charge. This is not too hot. Uh, 
And let me see. Let's, it's all dark. It looks like I'm even over ground. How about that idea? I like that idea. Yeah, we're... Yeah, temperature beginning to drop a little bit there. Good. Still do Mach 3. Turn SAS off. It's been nicely stable. Let's try pitching back some to try and arrest this rate of descent. And we're still pulling not even quite 3 Gs. That's, that's totally acceptable. Although, I'm pitching back... We may have some mock tuck happening, but I'm pitching all the way back, and the nose is not coming up. That is worrisome. Um, now we're subsonic, and I'm pitching all the way back, and the nose is not coming up. Warning, warning, danger, Will Robinson. Nellorf, Bob, I got a really bad feeling about this. We need more control surfaces. Um, let's hit the brake thing. Did that pitch back some more? Um, no, no, no! <laughs> uh, that's a lawn dart. That's a lawn dart. Whoops. <laughs> that's okay, it was real fast, I didn't feel anything. Uh, it's a good way for a Kerbal to go, you know. It's, it's, uh, it's a Kerbal, a Kerbal would, would think of this as an honor. Honor, you know, the maiden flight of a, of a new vehicle. Well, I guess it's... Well, they were there for the maiden flight. The, the first extra atmospheric flight of a new... Any, I don't know. How are you going to say it? The Nellorf, Bob, they knew what was coming and they didn't mind. This is... this is They'll build statues for them. <laughs> okay, okay, well. Um, so, lessons learned. I need to fix the fuel routing. I've got ideas of how to simplify that and how to make that work. Uh, it's nice and stable through re-entry and stable at high mock effects. Let's not fix that. However, uh, it couldn't pull the nose up. I think it needs larger control surfaces uh, is the first thing that comes to mind on fixing that problem because <laughs> it's kind of a serious problem. And we'll also take a look at, at balancing it out. Maybe we need more weight in back, less weight up front. So we need to start correcting some of these issues. Maybe this whole adapter plate thing that I got back here. Maybe that that thing blew up and it's not doing anything. I don't know. That's really not so ugly to have it. Oh, I'm kidding. That is ugly. Can I just get away with strutting that thing down? Let's try that. Just because is ugly without it and as previously stated as I have this no, no ugly policy on my airplanes okay so that was one issue I believe the issue with the with the solid rocket boosters uh, not gimbling away not separating correctly I believe that was because we we're having a, some sort of conflict we're having a glitch a bug with the the, the avionics mod now let's try something here um, it's just I want to move these things up forward a little bit. I'm not, yeah, I'm not ready to say that the, they're not working correctly until we try uh, try it again without, uh, you know, having. I had the wrong setting. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so there's those problems. Let me see. This is going to be the Enterprise C. Is what this is. Why are there three X's in here? Never noticed that before. Press E. Save. Uh, okay, fuel. Fuel was a large issue. And I already decided... Let me see. Somebody told me about this. It was all Z. Part clipping enabled. Yay! Let's fix these fuel tanks. I mean, they're already just... Well, actually, maybe... I, I wonder, can I go ahead and connect these fuel lines to it? With that, that part just barely, barely extending out the bottom. Let's try this. As long as it's highlighting the correct part. Ooh. Maybe that, that'll be good enough. What do you think? The vehicle, it needed more battery. Let's, let's add some, uh, let's add some battery in here. And it also helps us give us uh, more weight back in the tail. Which more weight will be a good thing because that's another thing we need to address is some of the balance issues. Got this guy total mass 0 0.02. Much 
something like that. Let's actually do two pair inside of there, huh? Four total. There we go. Good. And save that as Enterprise C. Okay, so the next issue we ran into. Um, that's, uh, we need to take a look at making this a viable glider. It was stable through re-entry, stable at mock effects, but it was unable to pull the nose up. So, but in order to do that, we need to put it in the glide configuration. So, first thing to do that, I don't, okay, so I don't have to rebuild this whole thing. Let's do it this way. Take this off and go to save sub. This will go into lifters. This is Enterprise C booster stack. And save. Good. Okay, pull these off of here. Good. Turn this on, turn this on. Oops, I thought I got rid of those. Good. Yeah, I think I think we want to go for like a larger size on these control surfaces because that uh, we may end up like maybe moving the general wing forward some, Just hanging larger control surfaces on there. Maybe also see if there's a way can we move this weight, uh, the center mass further backwards, closer to the center of lift. Here's one possibility I'm considering. I know we've got these really big parts. Look at that. Can we just use that as like a ginormous Elevon? Think that might work? You may I stick it up here. That's, I don't know. That's ugly, ugly, ugly. Still, it would, it would undoubtedly be more effective. Let's go back to these guys. Or, no, how about the, the two meter control surface? Because I do like having the the ones in the most inboard to be dedicated. Oh, wait a second, I know how to do this. Yeah, I like having the ones that are furthest inboard to be dedicated. Uh, those are only pitch, and then the ones uh, outboard are. Our elevons are both pitch and roll. Now I'm wondering if I can get away with here. Let's stick this thing. Let's go and take a look inside. Stick it onto here. Oh, that works. Oh yeah, that works out just fine. Uh, I don't know. See, that's so much fatter than the wing at the wingtip. Okay, here, let's let's think about it this way. I see. I was thinking that I would, I would like drag this forward like an unreasonably far, attach it, and then move the whole wing first back. But maybe I can get away with having the again the conventional, the you know the smaller, skinnier control surface. Yeah, these guys. Here we go. Oh yeah, this will work. This sneak it outwards just a little bit. Good. Okay, and we'll go ahead and we'll look at extending our wingspan a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. So it's not looking quite so, uh, you know, genuinely space shuttle-like, but. Again, we do have to make sacrifices in order to have the thing functional. I, I, I definitely tell you it'll have more control authority. We make the, the overall wings bigger like that. It'll have more glide. Yeah, that may be a big enough change already. No, it's still... Yeah, okay, so... As opposed to the real machine, yes, the, our wings have gotten, our wingspan is bigger, but it's not terribly so, you understand. Uh, yeah, and yeah, we want this to be 
looks similar to the shuttle, but I also I really want it to be functional, even though it'll only be able to carry very, very small cargoes. Okay, save it. Let's launch it. Phil Philkerman, Rodden and Kerman. All right, now let's take a look at that. Oh, look how much more control. So we have great, greatly increased um, control surface, you know, the area of the control surface and more range. It's moving correctly like that. I wonder. I wonder if I mean, just just in these little OMS engines. You think it'd be enough to get it to fly? Maybe not. Probably not. I want to try it anyway. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen, right? Uh, yeah, we're not going to use the mains. We're just going to use a little OMS. Uh, what are these guys saying? I hear them saying something. This is not tremendous acceleration here, guys. <laughs> I'm betting it's probably not going to work. Oh, come on, we can get up to 50. <laughs> this also help. Um, this is actually legitimately a good test to help make certain that you know, in the landing roll, will it roll straight, you know? Alright, coming up to 65. I don't think we're going to hit 100 before we reach the end of the runway. Definitely not pulling up. <laughs> Hello? Oh, oh wow, you can see the drag from doing that. It actually makes it slow down. Boom, pull that. Yeah, I didn't think so. Stop, 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 please. Brakes, 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 brakes. Good. Okay. Philful, Rodnant, get a free pass in this one. <laughs> and the struts did not reconnect. That was rude of them. Okay, let's restrut everything. Okay, okay, I believe this these should be uh, good good things done to address every issue that I'm that I can recall you know, all the issues that we ran into with this vehicle first time around so let's launch it again and see how it works out the second time see if we actually make orbit this time and after we make orbit and let's see if we get a good re-entry a uh, yeah a good glide and a good land good landing <laughs> sometimes I can't talk Okay, yeah, let's launch it.